Hey guys, it's Jessica Williams with After Buzz TV. We are here at the So You Think You Can Dance live show. What an explosive night. We are down to the final four and we interviewed all the judges, all the choreographers, and the contestants just for you. Stay tuned. Season four is in the house. Look, Twitch is giving you love back there. Yes, yes, we're hitting with that four. Love it. So welcome back. Thank you choreographed for the first time tonight. I did. How are you feeling? I feel good. The pressure is off. The pressure okay. was on and it was up and down. But you know what? I was just trying to trust the process as much as I possibly could. And I'm just really excited that I was able to have the opportunity to, to, to give something out there. Yeah, and to pour into these contestants. Yeah, I mean, pour you into know them. How it feels. So, what is the biggest piece of advice that you gave the dancers this week? I think the biggest advice I gave is to allow it allow themselves to pour into the piece, like take it as their own, because once I give them the skeleton, it's up to them to really tell the story and allow it to become their own piece. And that was something that I just needed to continue to like, re like just, own it, own it, own it. Own it, it. Yeah. just take it because it's now your piece. After that, I can't yeah. do anything else about it. And so I, I was just hoping that they would just continue just to like put themselves within it. And even if the story didn't necessarily connect with them and they didn't maybe haven't had that in their life. Right. But I mean, everyone had some similar situation yeah. in that sense. So I just wanted them to just find themselves in it. And they did. I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I did it. too. I mean, you took us back 1950s and you yeah. gave us a different vibe, that yeah. give and take. So was that the inspiration, just really pulling from a past relationship? My, that was that was that, that came that was actually a little bit of a testimony of myself and that's why I kept on saying that it was a little bit more of a, a soulful piece where it felt like a testimony because it is something that I had to go through and I wanted to tell my own story in that type of way where it is that you beg and plead for someone and then they just continue to just not care and then just leave and then sometimes sometimes you have to just absolutely just let them go because it's just what it is so I just wanted to take my story and because now I'm over it and now yeah. I'm just like oh my god I can laugh at it and yeah. but I can also be able to put it into peace and hopefully you know share that with the world and see if that's something that someone else has also went through so are you rooting for someone in particular do you have a favorite for the final four that will be uh, I think they're all I think tonight was a surprise to me all yeah. in all if I'm gonna be honest Ooh, do you yeah. know what, what I mean was what was going through your head oh I just was like <laughs> Word, like you don't want anyone to go, yeah. and that's but that's the name of the game. But it was just mm -hmm. such a surprise. Like now it's flipped. I feel like the last time it was like a dominating, a dominating like um, group of people over one. So because there's like three girls now and one guy. Right. I think the last time it was like that was when it was Lauren, Lauren Froderman when she won. Like when she, yes. it was her, but it was all guys. So it was just she was the only girl. Mm -hmm. So this one was different. And I'm just like, whoa, only guy. Guys. So it was, it's, it's a shock. I was yeah. a shocked. I was shocked because I really do love Darius and JJ. Yeah. They're such so amazing strong. dancers. Their number tonight was absolutely incredible, but they left out with the bang. So, yeah. So before you leave, we have to talk about your new clothing line. Ah. Oh, I didn't know, did you? Yes. yes. Tell us all about it. Um, I, my, my line is called Na Comfort Zone. So, Na, I'm from Nigeria. So, Na in um, broken English is it's and the. So, um, so, yeah. So, I have Na Comfort Zone, and it's just a lot of different hats, a lot of different like shirts and is, this is this a piece yes, there's a mix of some stuff yes, that I just love, love to just like I just enjoy fashion I enjoy yeah. like street wear and mm -hmm. all this good stuff so a lot of good things are coming in um, I think maybe in the next like two months I'm gonna start dropping some stuff so, so you have to follow yeah. her on social media yes, yes. comfort for dog see yo m-f-o-r-t-f-e-d-o-k-e